Hello there, welcome back. If you've been watching my previous pond videos, you'll have noticed that we cleared out all around the sides, so it's really, really tidy around the pond. Unfortunately, it's been messed up again after being clear because they've been doing work on the uh, on the springs and all of the pipes up the field. So all the mucks come down into the pond and it's mucked it up, but it will clear again. And in late February, there was a pair of mallards turned up. They've been here about two weeks. And there's a male and a female, but there's another male that keeps coming in and fighting with the other male. So they're obviously quite a tight pair because this other male just gets chased off all the time. Now, because of all of the clear and out work that we've been doing, there's nowhere now suitable for them to nest. So I've got an idea. You may remember this thing. This is a willow fish trap that I made about a year, year and a half ago. And it had a funnel that went in here, a willow funnel. The fish went in, couldn't get out. Caught loads of crayfish in it. I've since caught a few fish in it as well. It did work, but really I've got no need for it. It was just something that I made just to see if I could make it. So I've added a little ramp on the front of it out of willow. And I'm gonna sit that on the side of the pond with this going into the water. So hopefully the duck can use this to nest in. It looks about the right size. It's approximately a foot diameter. I'm sure that'll be big enough for a duck. So I'm gonna sit this on the side, peg it down so it's nice and secure. Um, cover it with brushes so that it's nice and camouflaged. I'll show you how I do that and then hopefully I can come back to you in a week or two if the duck starts using it and show you the nest. Now don't for one minute think that those ducks are tame, the proper wild mallard but they've kind of been naturalized here because I've been chucking food in for the fish every day and they've just gradually got more and more comfortable with me being here. So I can stand and shout at the camera and they're not even bothered, you know? They're really, really settled here. Now this looks like a pretty good place here. We've got a nice big hebe bush. That's west, so it's given a nice shelter from the wind. And if this will fit in underneath the bush, I'm sure they'll like being here. That looks awesome in there. I'm really looking forward to seeing if they, if they actually use this thing. Right, I'll get some brushes, cover up this side, and I think we're good to go. That looks spot on. I think what I'll do, I'll use one of my game cams, probably on here, firing down right into the entrance, and see if I can get some video footage and also pictures of the ducks going in and out, if they choose to use it. I'll just bring the camera in, let you see inside it, and then I think we'll call this one done. Well there you go, that's one of my shorter videos, but really there's not much more to say or do in this video. It's basically just putting a duck nesting box out, setting the camera up and seeing what happens. And I will get back to you to let you know what happens. Thanks for watching, see you next time.